Hello and welcome back. Today I am talking to you about Natasha Devon's latest book, A uh, Beginner's Guide to Being Mental. Uh, now, this is a book which I wish I could have read uh, as a teen. Um, I would have felt less alone. I would have felt like the different issues that I was facing and the ways in which I was thinking and feeling and the ways in which I was behaving were not just me. Um, and I would have felt empowered to seek help and to help myself if I could have read this book then. Um, it's great for young people. Natasha is fantastic at connecting directly with children and young people. She talks in a really kind of uh, young people focused way. Um, she doesn't try and like be cool and down with the kids as such, but she just talks in a language that they will understand understand they'll get she like lots and lots of her work historically has been directly with children and young people so she kind of understands their language without being patronizing and without yeah trying to emulate them in a way which becomes super uncool when you're an adult um so yeah so it's great for young people also great for anyone who wants to understand mental health period really so the way that the book works is natasha has told it from a kind of a, a kind of dual personal and professional point of view. So Natasha is someone who is, um, I want to say expert by experience. Now, when we say expert by experience, we tend to mean that someone is an expert because they have been through something. Um, and whilst that's true for Natasha, and she talks about lots of her own personal experience in her book, um, she's very honest and very insightful and of her own experiences. Um, she also is an expert by experience in terms of just having worked with hundreds and hundreds of young people over many years. So she, so it's it's kind of yeah. So it's it's part professional, part personal, um, told in a really accessible way. Um, so you feel like she's chatting to you. So I actually listened to it on Audible and it's literally like Natasha's my friend and it was literally like having my friend in the car with me um, as she talked you through this. Um, she uses humour to lighten it um, but she doesn't shy away from any tricky topics at all so it's really good, really great kind of overview and introduction to a very wide uh, range of topics. Um, so yeah, suitable for young people, suitable for people who are suffering with mental health issues at any age um, or other sort of well-being issues um, and also suitable for anyone who just wants to understand a bit more. So again, if you're like a parent or a teacher and you want to understand more about the issues that um, we're facing in our changing world, Natasha's got a lot to say about things like kind of capitalism and social media and the media on the whole um, and that sort of thing as well. Um, so yeah, just a really great all-round look at life, the universe and everything from the point Point of view of someone who has um, their own lived experience of mental health issues um, and their own professional experience of working with many, many uh, thousands of kids and teachers and other people with regards to mental health. Um, you can get an idea of the kind of topics. I'm trying to think what else I need to tell you really. Basically, just 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 buy the damn book. It's great. Um, so this is all the topics that are covered. Trying to get that actually to focus oh yeah so there's there's a whole range of topics um but really like although you can kind of get an idea from this it doesn't really begin to even touch on it now the other thing to know is that oh uh, if you're trying to make the audible versus hard copy debate a if you've got small hands go with the audible i'm tiny and and the book feels huge but i mean i love it but like i'd get really tired reading it but if you use the audible which is great because you've got your friend talking to you so pros and cons here pros and cons but you miss out on i had no idea when i read it that it's full of illustrations by ruby etc who is just fab and who kind of has a really clever way of taking kind of complicated concepts around like anxiety depression other kind of well-being and mental health issues just turning them into something like a really funny kind of picture that you get right away so it's a genius pairing. So yeah, maybe buy the book. Maybe do both. Maybe just do both. As always, I do not share a book unless I've read it. I have read it, listened to it cover to cover. Um, I have been sent a review copy, so I didn't pay for it, although I did pay for the Audible version. That's unusual. Um, and uh, I don't get paid for endorsing stuff. Um, I, I don't ever do that just so that you know you know like to do that so yeah all the books on my bookshelf pretty much all the books on my bookshelf have been sent to me uh, I don't pay for books very often um, but uh, just because a book has been sent to me for free doesn't mean I'm going to give it a positive review um, I get sent a lot of books which never see the light of day again sometimes because I run out of time sometimes because I don't think they're very good so there we go. So yes, this one I do think is good. Um, I'm sharing it ahead of other stuff in my reading pile because I loved it, because Natasha is um, great force for good in the field, um, and because I would 
think that it would be a really helpful thing for kids in this kind of like return to school then run up to Christmas type period which can be a kind of tricky time could be a great stocking filler for someone depends when you're watching this I'm really really wittering the hell on now aren't I I'll shut up good book bye